welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. We have already started here. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. His anticipation is good, Peter, but his timing isn't. He read the situation and then went and spoiled it. He's made good progress from a deep position. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Look, I know our vantage point is, is very different, but he looked on. Plays a clever pass. And through to the goalkeeper. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempt, zero goals, and uh, excitement. Can he score? Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Promising move, that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Looks to clip it forward. Has a hit! It's there! And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really... Pop Has a swing at it! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco P... Hits it! That's a half-decent try. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. It so nearly came off for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly up. Looking to shoot! They've scored! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely, they'll manage one or the other. Repelled by the keeper. Shot at goal! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Going for goal! It goes to show he is human after all. Lebanon know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, and he goes for goal! And he should have made it four. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but... Can he finish? Really well taken goal. That uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Tries a through ball. Looks like a good ball through. Now the pass. Puts in a cross. And there goes the final whistle. Well, that's the way to launch the campaign. Now they can look ahead with confidence and comfort. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory and look ahead with real belief.
Hello and welcome to the Saitama Stadium. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. So off we go then. He's having a look round. Hits it! Oh great save, real class. Well, you can't ask for much. And the finish! Keeper's not concerned by that. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Towering header! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Driving on a real char. Can he put it away? There are a few waiting for... Shoots! All the balls come loose! And the follow-up, it's a goal! The breakthrough strike! Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. That's the way you go about things if you want to qualify. It's superb. Looks like a... Looking to shoot! They've done it! And they are disappearing out of sight! That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. The three's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position. So why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? A half of massive entertainment and excitement. A two-goal has a shot. They are rampant. And they are cruising away. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens. Can he finish? Oh, extraordinary. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Well, it's normally around now that the managers think about making changes. There's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Rapidly approaching the end. Tries a through ball. And that's been levered clear. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He's gone direct. Oh, that is special! A finish right from the top draw. Unbelievable. Results no longer in doubt. It's just a great leap. Oh, he's kept it out. That's a great save. And that's that. You'll just see the thrill amongst the players. They have made it.
The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now and I'm eager for the action to start. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Gary Cahill has developed very well for me. He goes for goal! Nil-nil still, and little doubt about which manager will be the happier right now. He's had a go! Goal! Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. He's tries one! There were better options. That is going to be the final action of the first half. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with their first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Leading 1-0 at the break.
and we're off again. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. That's a throw. Tries a through ball. He's gone for it! Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Hits it! They've done it! There seemed no way back, but they are level. That has certainly made things interesting. It's pulsating, it's absorbing, and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way. Up to meet it! Goal! The ultimate captain leading by example. And that's not your average end to a match, is it? It's only the skipper stepping up when this game look. And there goes the final whistle. Quite a game, memorable for its fluctuation in fortunes and astonishing turnaround. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Lebanon can be quite proud of themselves despite the result, and I'm pleased to listen to the applause they're receiving for a, for a gutsy show.
Hello and welcome to the Saitama Stadium. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. So it's down to business here. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. It can only get better, this. But we haven't... And the finish! Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Passes it through. Gets up to head it! It's in! First blood drawn. Big occasion, big goal. Has a hit! Goal! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal. He's gone for it. They are rampant. And the first half is done. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes. But one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter. But please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Really has been an astonishing game, peppered with goals. You cannot help feeling that the second half will supply more.
that's the start of another 45 minutes can he finish really well taken goal yet another goal in an awesome performance they are in complete charge can he score oh taken with style well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Chipped through. In with a header! Oh, almost a sixth. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Sticks it away! Well, just another one to add to what has already been an incredible... Hits one! No mistake! This is as ruthless as it gets. So not long left in this now. Iran are staring a first round exit in the eye. Looks to slip it. Goes for goal. He scores! A contest no more. It is nothing short of utter humiliation. Balls loose. Who's getting there? And that may well be that. That is that. And on to the semi-final. Another hurdle cleared. Next up, the penultimate step. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Listen, it was fairly emphatic. To move on to the next round with as big a winning margin, I think can only benefit their campaign. A springboard win and a very buoyant outlook. Hello and welcome to the Saitama Stadium. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. It is no day for the faint-hearted, the penultimate step on the road to glory. for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. So it's down to business here. And it's Okazaki. Okazaki. Pops it upfield. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Now the pass. Has a 
those shots! What a wonderful goal! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus, but this game has already taken on a real attacking edge and, and long may that continue. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it, I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. It's Sako. Now to play for a goal kick. Deftly done. Tries a through ball. It's a scoreline to raise the eyebrow. 1-0 to the underdogs. Going through. Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Good run. Ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Ah, oh, Peter, he went down the glory. He's had a go! It's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. So they got the only goal to make it 1-0 and the semi-final reaches halfway so there you have it a close fought half of football but one that still had its moments but ultimately produced just one goal a more than decent game up to now well you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too they work tirelessly for me leading a cagey game here it's had its moments and it's 1-0 at the break has already resumed here. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. Big chance! Really well taken goal. Two up and threatening to pull clear. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier. second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other now it's Okazaki well, it's normally around now that the managers think about making changes Okazaki Passes it through. Can he hit one? A oh, great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Oh, checks on the touchline. A change about. He'll have a dip! And another time! He's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with.
Japan have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. In with a header! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Well, that ought to have wrapped it up, Peter. He may well regret that, you know. Great leap! Oh, not the best of headers. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Pinged forward. A real chance to break. It's just the goalkeeper to shoot! And more, and more, and more! And they are cruising away. Showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Out to the flank. Now here's the through ball. Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. And time is up. Surely the best preparation for the final. A thumping win in the semi. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Yeah, they've grown in stature and confidence with every step. And one big step away from the trophy now.